It's the East-West Shrine game, live from Houston. Tackle made by Jameel McLean from Syracuse. Well, there's the starting signal caller. For the West, that is Sam Keller, began his college career at Arizona State, finished it up playing for Bill Callahan in Lincoln, Nebraska. He's a guy passed for 63% on the season, over 2,400 yards with 14 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Alan Patrick from Oklahoma, he is the deep back, and they fake it to him. Play action on first down, and Keller hits his man. It's Jason Rivers from Hawaii, gain of a couple before he's tackled by Jonathan Wilhite. Of playmaker when healthy, struggled with an ankle this year, but he has 269 career tackles. You're talking about a player that's always around the ball. Conservative play call on third down, and it pays off. Out of the backfield, Alan Patrick gets the first down, and well, they'll stay on the field offensively for the Western squad. What you're going to see right here is a just nice play fake, and Sam Keller in time. Alan Patrick just kind of kind of gets himself wound up there, and yeah, looks like he's at the end right in this game. He's replaced by Anthony Allridge in the backfield. Keller fakes it to him, gets it out to the tight end from Oklahoma, and Joe John Finley can't hold on. 100 yards this season for Kansas. On second down, Keller passes complete. That's Kevin Robinson of Utah State. Gets enough for the first down. Uh, hopefully he can have a similar game here tonight. Keller with time, spits it out, passes complete. That's Jed Collins, the former Cougar of Washington State. Crosses the 50 and gets to the 48. Really disengages from offensive linemen. Well, third down and six. Passes complete. It's Robinson. He's going to be just a little bit short of the first down. Mark. Down and one. Aldridge is the deep back. And Keller keeps it himself. And he's got a good body. Looks like he's going to be close to the first down. Keller at 6'4, 230, just trying to move that pile. Kern Brett, the punter, might as well take off his helmet and shoulder pads. He's not going to get any work tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Sam Keller has great size and, uh, you know, the weight to him as well. He's got all the tools in terms of physical ability to, to get it done. The only concern has been that delivery point kind of uh, pushes the ball down the field, so to speak. But durability as well for Sam Keller a question with the scouts he's off to a good start completing five of his first six tosses to four different receivers fresh set of downs first down at 10 all reads the deep back they fake it to him again Keller wants a bunch this time Pass is a little bit too low, and Joe John Finley of Oklahoma can't scoop it up. He return, punt return, kick returns. He's done a lot of that this week. He's shown scouts that he's not just the, your average tailback that lines up against carries. 12th play of this opening drive for the West. Keller on first down is swarmed and brought down. The ball's loose, and it's jumped on by Kenny Iwabima. You know, we talked about Thomas at that running back position, and he was wide open on the other side. That's another thing. You mentioned some of the weaknesses, the shot put, the durability. It's also seeing the entire field. I feel like sometimes Sam Keller gets locked into, hey, I'm going to make the throw here, second option, but then there's no third. Obviously, protecting the football there, very, very difficult when pass protection falls apart. Credit the sack to Kendall Lankford, and he takes the ball away from the West. Overnight Saturday, and we're at practice Monday, getting ready to go. And Bernie Morris threw for 172 in the first half. Paul Smith airing it out, looking for the deep ball. It's incomplete. Paul Hubbard trying to get separation on Zach Bowen. Third down and two. Quickly, Morris tries to get it to Paul Hubbard, and the pass is incomplete. Zach Bowman on the coverage. Boy, Hubbard may be caught in that gray area, whether or not he was getting press coverage right. or, you know, a guy was bailing out on him. And you'll see right here, kind of in the gray area where Bowman's driving on the football actually confuses Bernie Morris as well. You really don't know where to go. West All-Stars up against it right now. They do have a, a seven-point lead, but the ball is spotted inside the one-yard line. Sam Keller, former Nebraska Cornhusker, trying to lead this offense 99 yards. Well, you're in this position. You just want to take care of the football. Wants to throw. Gets into the back, out of the backfield, and Jed Collins for the Thorpe Award. Didn't win it. The top three defensive back in the country. Keller spits it out. Pass is complete. Travis Brown trying to fight out to the 10 yard. Now that he's done playing at BC, letting his hair down, obviously. <laughs> And Silva on this. He now has six tackles on the game. Second down and six. Keller passes complete again to Travis Brown. Good enough for the first down. I want to talk about Sam Keller. Andre, you played the position. Todd, you played the position as well. 
He doesn't look like your classic Joe Namath with his release by any stretch of the imagination. Should that worry someone? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I think, you know, you look at Vince Young, and, and he's been able to overcome that kind of shot put type motion. And, and Sam, I think his, his motion is actually more of a push than actually Vince Young's is. But uh, he's thrown the ball well. He keeps it away from defenders. Uh, I, I think he's, it'll be okay. You can't retrain it now. On first down, you want to do. As you know, Andre, you, you can't retrain it. It's exactly right because what got him here is this throwing motion. It's what he's comfortable with. We talked to the coach for and he said, you know, first of all, I would never try to tinker with the, the mechanics in one week anyway. Second of all, if I was to work with him, it would be on his footwork and on his on his angles, you know, keeping his shoulders square, uh, delivering the ball with proper footwork. And so I, I think there's room to improve in those areas. But in terms of his throwing motion, it is what it is, and he's going to have to succeed with it at the next level and just deal with it. Yeah, well, Sam Keller quietly putting a nice drive together here. Throwing the football. Incomplete Marcus Henry. A case of the drop season today. Yeah, Possibly an true. issue catching a ball from a Sam Keller who doesn't have that classic <laughs> over-the-top motion. I think once it's out and it's online, you know, it doesn't matter if it's coming from Sam Keller, Josh Johnson, whomever else. You know, once it's online, you, you know, it's your responsibility to catch the football. Keller spits it out, and this time the catch is made. Jason Rivers goes up and makes the grab. system receiver, and there's a whole lot of them. They have big numbers, but they don't count. But you look at this, going up for the ball, plucking it away from his body. Scott's Four, five range. Let me get you drafted. Trying to keep this drive alive. This is the tenth play. Pass is dropped. There's your guy, Jason yeah. Rivers. All the run up the field before he secured it. You know, and as well, Sam Keller had tremendous amount of pressure. So he may have lost it among the bodies, and all of a sudden, here comes the ball out of nowhere. Sam Keller did a pretty good job just getting it out yeah. of there. That, that was a good drive for Sam Keller. Yeah. He showed poison. Anytime you get him into a rhythm, he can be pretty effective. Keller has led two drives so far today, a 12-play drive in the first quarter, and this a 10-play drive. No points, but long drives. He may be the best receiving threat out of the backfield in this game. Paul Smith sings a strike. Pass complete to Samuel Jiguer. Kid out of Sherbrooke up in Canada, north of the board. Against that defense of USC, you, you got to be like... Pass is complete. Oh, he dropped it. Samuel Jaguer had the football, and Zach Bowman knocked it out of his arm. <laughs> West trying to get this game in the wing column. Passes undersized, but catches the ball well and very shifty as a runner. I think I'd have to agree with you. And then you toss in Dwayne Brown, the left tackle from Virginia Tech, who's done an outstanding job of making the conversion this season at Virginia Tech from tight end to left tackle. I think he's under the radar because at Iowa State they didn't get a lot of recognition, but he's going to be able to play at the next level. I think he's in the fourth, fifth round range. Oh, that looks miserable. That's going to be cool. It's already cold here. <laughs> it's been a while since he's had the, 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 the ice back. Oh, he and Coach Vermeer are such close friends. It's amazing when you talk to both of them how much they respect and love one another.